Let's go, bro. Y'all see the title. Born into it, where I hope to um, understand how they justify their beliefs. Hey, my name is Sean Gendel. I'm a Presbyterian pastor, I'm married to my wife Kelly, and we have three children. I'm Amr Isa. I'm 19 years old. I'm Muslim. I was born and raised in a Muslim household. Muslim my whole life is a big part of who I am. My name is Jason Turgeon. I'm 33. I'm a Satanist. Uh, I was raised. The way he just said that just irritated me. To be honest with y'all, He's irritating me, bro. He's he's irritating me. Christian. You need to follow Jesus. Something wrong with y'all people right there. And have somewhat recently converted. My name is Ragini. I was born and raised in India. And then I moved here for grad school. And currently I'm a director at Jubilee Media. And I'm Hindu. I'm Lois. I'm 23. And I'm a Satanist. And I was raised... Jewish. My name is Richard Leo. I'm look old how y'all sound, bro. Like, look how y'all sound. Why would y'all follow him? Bro, it says the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, bro. And y'all laughing, thinking that is funny, bro. Like, it be these, bro, it be these type of people right here, bro. I, I like, like to tell help. people. <laughs> I'm a Satanist. I was raised Christian, but I am a Satanist. I'm going to get my Satanist back there on the left and members of major religions on the right. Hell is a real place. It is. I don't actually know, like, when I try to think of what hell looks like to me, I don't think it how it's been in movies or people just talk about like a, some fiery inferno. I believe in an afterlife where there is a kind of a good place and a bad place where what you do here kind of determines where you're going to end up. Yeah. One of, one of the signs that there is something greater than us out there is that we see something beautiful that we want someone to express our thanksgiving to and our worship towards. And in the same way, on the opposite end of the spectrum, uh, when there are terrible deeds or acts that are committed by humans towards one another, that there also needs to be a place of of justice, and so I, yeah, I believe that there is a heaven and that there is a hell, and that the gift of grace that God offers us is so generous that that for those who reject it, that there has to be a place of judgment. So yeah. Can I get my disagreeers to come in? Personally, I would never worship a god that would send someone to an eternal lake of fire to be burned forever for the simple fact. It's consequences to your actions, homie. Okay? It's consequences for your actions. Stop making excuses. When somebody murders somebody, it's consequences. A judge got to give you life or something. It's consequences to your actions. Act of non-belief. When but that deity knows what it would take to convince every single person on this planet, that is cruel, it is inhumane, it is not kind, it is not generous, and that is not a god worthy of worship. What's more, it would be... I got say, bro. Damning all, I mean, the vast majority of everyone who's ever existed for not believing in him for a set of rules that he created. To be fair, I, I feel like this presupposes that to burn in hell means that you don't believe in God. I'm sure that there are religions, and I know that there are people who believe that hell is a place for murderers, you know? And when I was Jewish, we didn't believe in hell. They didn't even talk about the devil. I just kind of came upon it myself. I believe that... In the event that we have spirits and they will go on to some other realm, it's probably more of a nebulous place than a physical hell, lake, fire, everything. I don't even believe we have souls necessarily. Yeah. Oh. I'd like to see some evidence like, before I, I, I believe something like that. I barely believe that we're even conscious. <laughs> like, I'm about to have an existential crisis up here. <laughs> the, I think the historical Christian position is, is that, that the gift of 
the, the invitation that God gives to the people that he made is so, so generous and came at such a high price to a him. A high price he gave that, up a um, weekend. That uh, He gave up a weekend. Right. Um, he was God before. Yeah, yeah. He was God during, and he's God now. He gave up a weekend. If I knew right now that I could go off and die and then not die, how? where's the gift in that, number one? I'm able to look at, at the... He's not understanding. Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, died on the cross so that we could be saved. As simple as that. The grace that has been extended to grace. me and, I, and yeah, and I received yeah, it. These people be coming up with weak arguments. Yeah. They don't even know what they be talking okay. about. Okay, so the way that I would commonly think of it is, is that if I gave up the life of, of my own son um, in exchange for your life, that, that it is okay then for me to, to make the, the invitation that, that God makes towards us. Um, is that moral? Is it moral? Is it moral? On when a corporeal level. Jesus took on the... Oh, who are you to say was right or wrong? You don't make a right or wrong, God does, homie. The penalty that I deserve for the, the sins that I committed, if, if we're looking at, you know, the traditional Christian faith, and so I receive uh, his gift of grace and, and as, as a payment for, for the things that I had done. So your question, is it moral or is it just, is it fair? I'm able as a Christian to say, no, it's not fair um, because I deserve the, the punishment that he took on himself. Faith to me is everything. We, we um, grew up in a, in a household of faith and, and, and learned to love, love Jesus and love the church and serve the church from my, the family that I grew up in. And, and so my wife and I have, have embraced that same life of faith and we have taught the Christian faith to our children to understand themselves and their world because of him and, 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 his, um, and his teaching. I believe there is a higher purpose in life. Purpose is to serve God. I mean... Believe in him. <laughs> yeah, I think I strongly believe there's a higher purpose in life. I don't think I've found it yet, and I hope, I'm, I would like to believe that I will one day in the journey of my life. I completely agree. I don't, I don't know what my purpose is, and I don't think it's, there's like a higher purpose that fits for everybody. But to me, the, no, the idea that there's some bigger purpose has always been very comforting to me. Otherwise, kind of, what's the point of all of this? No, I fully agree. I think that... I believe it's a question that we all ask, and it's one of the gifts of faith, in, in, my, in my opinion, so that when there's times of, of epidemic and war... Um, pandemic. 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 You're right. That's a better... Uh, Worldwide. Pandemic. That, that we're able to understand, even in those situations of difficulty and conflict and, and anxiety and fear, that there is a higher purpose in life and that, that uh, there's more than, than what we see. I trouble with the phraseology higher purpose because, that, again, that denotes, do I believe God? No, but I do believe higher purpose as in love, to give, to be generous, to be kind, to help, to heal, to be there to understand. The phrase higher purpose, is, it's a yeah, loaded phrase. I, 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 I struggle yeah. with higher purpose because it's like God said... I choose uh, you. Yeah, I exactly. choose you, exactly. and you are going to do this thing, and you're going to continue doing this thing for the rest of your life. And I really struggle with that. Can I? Yeah, because you want to live in your flesh. I mean this with all. Yeah. With you don't want to follow God. I, you want to live in your I, flesh. Yeah, you you don't want to with that. Um, you literally uh, cannot offend me. What, what's up? <laughs> but what's up, very, Come on. Just curiosity. I'm going to be right back. Yeah, I'll tell you. What? Hold up. Like I said, she want to live for a flesh. Uh, what, what if everyone was committed to this idea that, that, like in the way that you expressed it? So I would say one, some people that are sort of pro-religion, like, like I am, would say that, that in order for us to bind together as a culture and, and learn to kind of work together and, and help cause one another to flourish, uh, we have to agree on, a, on some kind of higher purpose or a common set of principles. And, I, and, uh, I disagree. Dealing with people, I'm going to say it like this, bro. Dealing with people, if you're a Christian, like certain people that, that want to try to twist the word and all that, 
they going to come up with these weak arguments over and over and over again. I heard it so much times. I'm just so used to it. It's so easy to answer certain questions. Like, it's, it's like, it's certain questions. It's just like, oh, why does God do this? Because, number one, because he can. Oh, why is there hell? Because it's actions for your consequences. So it's like you asking these weak questions. It's just like, bro, why are you like... Yeah, I don't you? really see a need for uh, having a prescriptive purpose. I'm struggling to even see what you see as the value in saying that you have a higher purpose. Maybe it's more of a fear or a concern, right? Yeah, that if everyone about their life. got up every day and said that life is all about Real. me and, and, Some and, these people what, don't and care. I'm not suggesting at all that that's what you're saying about. Uh, I mean, kind of uh, is. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is, it is yeah. my belief. I don't mean to interrupt either no. of you. Yeah, it no. is my belief that one should take care of oneself. Yeah. Yeah. Because nobody else will. Yeah. People who do take care of themselves, they understand that it is balance and they're not going to go out and, and cause anarchy and mayhem. I'm really not trying to hear, I, I'm not, I'm really not trying to hear these people out what they talking about, because anything with Satan, I ain't trying to hear nothing about Satan. I believe in Jesus, so I really don't care about nothing with this dude, and the rest of these two other people is talking about, I don't, I don't follow Satan, I follow Jesus. Yeah, the streets, it, it can even be like a selfish act to be helping the community around you, and it's still a good thing, it's still important, it doesn't take a higher purpose to make that kind of thing happen. I was going to school with the intention to become an ordained minister in the Pentecostal church. One of the things there is you read the Bible a lot every day, all day. And after doing that for like several hours a day and reading the Bible through back to back several times and discussing it, I just, I wasn't sold at all. I guess I style myself more as an, a skeptic and a humanist than anything. And Satanism just happens to fit really nicely in that category for me. And this is actually also kind of like my outing video. Like my family doesn't know I'm a member of TST. They don't know I'm a Satanist. I don't get when it was never like, what's so funny about that? Like this dude smiling on his face. That was what, that's what was making me mad in the beginning of this video. I was about to say something that was gonna make me mad. What, it's nothing funny about, it's nothing funny about following that. I don't follow nothing dealing with the devil. And y'all laughing at that. I don't even know what's so funny about that. I'm not trying to go to hell. I'm trying to go to heaven. It's nothing funny about that. And these people laughing, bro. Like, I almost, like, real talk, I, I, I be trying to control myself, like, and, you know, I'm trying to do better, you know, because I don't, I, I'm trying to do better. But when he said that, like, how proud he was when he said that, I really wanted to smack him. That's how angry I got. But I said, no, the Lord wants me to turn he will want me to turn the other cheek because he was making me mad all three of them were making me mad right now like because it's just y'all doing dumb stuff like bro satan ain't gonna get nobody nowhere bro i believe in good, good and evil uh, uh, i'm done with this video they gonna make me mad i'm done